Folks, uh, we have been learning a lot about Facebook recently. Like, evidently, they were collecting all of our personal data and making money off of selling it to other people in order to manipulate our behavior. We had no way of knowing that thing we pretended we didn't know. So, <laughs> this week, Congress demanded a meeting with Facebook founder and underbaked crescent roll Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Congress wanted to teach him a thing or two, but it turns out they didn't know a thing or one. Here's representative question from 84-year-old Senator Orrin Hatch. You said back then that Facebook would always be free. Is that still your objective? Senator, yes. There will always be a version of Facebook that is free. Well, if so, how do you sustain a business model in which users don't pay for your service? Senator, we run ads. I see. I see. I see. Okay, so uh, you run ads. Okay, so my grandson didn't post on my wall that I can increase my length, girth, and stamina? Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Okay. But that was the old folks over in the Senate yesterday. Today, the tech billionaire and translucent cave salamander talked to... <laughs> hip young members over in the house, and they were prepared for anything other than saying Zuckerberg's name. I thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for coming before us, Mr. Zuckerman, today. Mr. Zuckerman, why did Facebook share users' data with Cambridge Necronomicon, uh, who helped Darnold Stump get elected to the Oval Orifice? But there was some big news when Representative Anna Eshoo asked if Zuckerberg himself had data taken by Cambridge Analytica. Was your data included in the data sold to the malicious third parties? Your personal data? Yes. It was. They have all of Zuckerberg's personal data. They know everything about him. They know which hoodie is his favorite. They know what bowl he uses to cut his hair. They know about the secret room where he goes to practice human facial expressions. Everything. <laughs> They've got him. So based on the last two days, I am not confident Congress is capable of regulating Facebook or logging into Facebook. <laughs> but one person I am pretty confident in, that's Harvard dropout and resident of both Silicon Valley and the Uncanny Valley, Mark Zuckerberg. Because yesterday, while he was testifying, Zuckerberg's net worth increased by three billion dollars. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? Making money off your life. We'll be right back with Martin Short.